frame test. to talk any louder than this, so we'll see. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Who knows? Hey viewers, my name's Kara. It's been a while since I filmed on a flip, but Someone found me an old one that they weren't using anymore that still works, unlike my old one that can't connect anymore. So I'm trying to use that and just getting used to how different the framing is again from the camera that I've been using, but oh well. I don't want to do this. This. I don't want to make this video today, and that's what this video is about. This past week has been really rough for me, anxiety and depression wise, and just motivation wise, and drive wise, and passion wise, it's been more than rough. And I think it's largely because it's the first week that I've had without rehearsals pretty much all year because I worked two overlapping shows and had to be there constantly for each one and during the month of March I was doing both of them and then so far in April I've been doing the musical and this is our one week off and then we go back uh, next week we will have performances again but this week we didn't and in a way I think that's true but more than just it being my first week off to kind of catch up on myself, it's also just the first week in a long time that I haven't had anything else to pull me out of bed. And so I posted on my personal Facebook about it and in one of the private groups that I'm working with some women in, I just posted about how it's been a rough week, and but I really I put a positive spin on it and talked about how even with all of this stuff, that I'm still surrounded by so much love, right, in my immediate area. I have a few people very close to me who love me very much, who have been helping me so much, who have been supporting and encouraging me and doing whatever they can, really, to help me just make it through. And I am so grateful for that, and so I posted about it. But the part that sticks in everyone's head is that I've mentioned the big A word and the big D word, anxiety and depression. And I hate posting about it, even when it's just in passing like that, because every time I do, people start crawling out of the woodwork with pitying comments. And everybody keeps reassuring me that these people are just trying to be supportive. Right? They're just trying to help. They think this is what they're supposed to do. But it bothers me so much because that's not what I talk about it for. That's not what I post these things for. That's not what I mention it in videos for. I'm not fishing for reassurance and support. I have, like I said, those people very close to me who offer that and the people who I text on a regular basis who aren't here in my daily life but who are there throughout the ether and who are really there to support me. I have that. That's not what I post it to the rest of the world for. I talk about it to the rest of the world because I think it should be talked about. And I think that it's something that people shouldn't have to all of a sudden run to my aid when I decide to post something like that. I hate Facebook. It's not a secret. I've talked about it many a time in the past that I hate a lot of things about it, and so I don't really post on my personal Facebook that often. A lot of the people on that I, I don't think need to know about my life, and on the random occasions when I want to put something out there that I feel like might benefit people, I the reaction that I'm looking for is not for people all of a sudden to like reach out to me and want to help me and support me, right? That just makes me more angry, honestly, and I really only got one super actual helpful comment and it's from someone else who knows what I'm talking about because they've been through it so they reached out to me separately and there was no pity there was no I'm sorry there was no nothing they just gave me a personal account of one 
concrete example of something that they do for themselves when they are in this mental place, and they left it at that. And I thought, that's probably the most helpful thing anyone has actually ever said, you know, because they're just sharing with me something that they do. Fine, you know. I didn't ask for it anyway, and I think a lot of people attempt to do that and they do it poorly, but, I don't know, at least they're trying, I guess, but it just makes me not want to talk about it. And so part of why I don't feel like doing a video is that I don't feel like talking about one of these other topics on my list and ignoring that this is going on with me, but I also don't feel like talking about it because however many thousands of you are going to watch, you don't know my life. And I don't necessarily want to, A, worry you, because I know some of you have gotten really uncomfortable in the past when I've shown some more down days, because you expect all the happy stuff, you expect the good stuff, because that's what most YouTubers end up sharing. But as one of my partners was saying to me today, people watch this channel because I'm real, and because I'm honest with you, and because I am me. And so they encouraged me to do whatever video I wanted to do today, and I said I'd really just like to talk about how shitty this week has been. I'd really just like to talk about how stuff sucks. Even though, I know, those of us who are energy workers, we also preach, you know, staying positive, blah 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 blah, because what you feed continues to grow, but I do also disagree with the idea that we should just ignore the darker things. Th there's no way to have balance if you give no credence and no time to these darker things, if you don't work through them, if you just ignore them. So when I finally got to the point today where I felt like I could do something toward improving this day, saving this day, and actually getting a video out there. The first thing that I wanted to do was draw a card to see what energy I needed to get through this day. And I pulled the Emperor, which is a card that has many keywords, of course, but many of the keywords include such things as logic, order, structure, power, sometimes authority, but really logic, order, structure were three of the big ones for today. And it's basically saying that I need to put in the work, that there are so many aspects of my life right now where I know there's work to be put in, and I do put it in, but then when I immediately get pushback, I stop. And that's not a helpful way to go about it. I really have to keep working and keep pushing no matter what. But I am very much stuck, and I know I talked about this a little bit in my Witchy Struggles video from earlier in the month, that I'm stuck in this cycle of wanting to do work, but if I don't feel like it's doing anything, I feel like I'm wasting the time doing the work so I don't do it. But if I don't put in the time, it'll never get to the point where I'll actually see the results. For example, up until I checked today, only one person had signed up for my Saturn Returns course. And I was already debating with myself and talking with my partner about whether I should cancel it, whether I should just hold it off for another couple of weeks to give people a couple more weeks to hear about it and sign up for it because not everybody watches my videos every single day or every single week so I'm sure some of you will see this a month later and then say oh I didn't even know about it but that's why I repeatedly tell people to follow me on other social media because I will always be updating those things and I've posted about these things there multiple times and I just feel like it's so hard for me to get things out there and now that I'm trying to when I feel like I'm speaking to the void I end up thinking it's pointless to speak and that's a big deal for me you know you all know me as a communicator and as a talker and when I feel that my words are not worthwhile that says something about where I am you know and I know there are people watching this who frankly I don't care to know about what's going on with me but you know I, I make videos for the public on the internet so I have to deal with that um, but yeah basically I'm not doing it to get any kind of feedback support for I'm not asking for advice. In fact, I'd probably prefer not getting it. 
you know, it, it really bothers me when people offer unsolicited advice on the internet, but then again, it's the internet, it's what people do. I know that if you feel the compulsion for that, it's that you feel like you want to be helpful. I encourage you, if you want to talk to me about anything like that, talk to me personally, privately, on Facebook or whatever. That's not what the comment section is for, and it's just not something that I choose to engage in. And a lot of the time, I've mentioned this before, I go through these periods where I'm afraid of YouTube. I'm afraid of the comment section. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to look at it. I want to pretend it's not there. I don't want to do YouTube anymore. You know, I go through these phases. And um, so two of the other things that I wanted to mention that I saw um, on Twitter right before I was getting ready to do this video that made me decide to do this video were Thorn Coil shared a tweet that said, what does your breath tell you as it moves in and out from your lungs? And I took a moment, took a few breaths, and listened to that, and the answer that I got was, keep breathing, girl. Keep living. And essentially, that's all we can do sometimes from day to day, is just just keep swimming. <laughs> I finally saw Finding Dory the other day, and it was adorable. And I just squealed and cried through like half of it, because it was so cute. But yeah, sometimes all you can do is just keep swimming. Just keep breathing, just keep living your life a day at a time, day after day, and it's hard for me to remember sometimes that that's okay if that's all we're accomplishing. And the other thing is something that I retweeted from Joanna DeVoe, which was, to be yourself in a world that is constantly trying to make you something else is the greatest accomplishment. Ralph Waldo Emerson. And that encouraged me to go ahead and make this video because it is very much about being myself versus being what I think everyone expects me to be, and worrying about what everyone is going to think if I make a video that's a little bit more negative or about about a sadder, more serious, negative, I don't like to attach that word to it, but about this, you know, as opposed to something educational or something upbeat, happy. If you are following me on other social media, Instagram and Twitter, namely, then you know that I did do something very exciting last night. I went to the grand opening of the Buckland Gallery of Witchcraft and Magic, and I met Raymond Buckland. I have emailed with him before in the past, but this was my first time meeting him in person. And I did take pictures. I did not vlog it. They invited me to come back to the gallery sometime and do a video for this channel. A little feature on it. The gallery owner invited me. So that's something I may be doing in the future, and I do plan to do a video in the near future showing you the pictures that I took and telling you about my experience with it. But today, I just, I really didn't want to make that video today. I really didn't want to try to pump myself up to do that video when this is really the video that needed to come out. So, thank you for listening. Thank you for being here. I know that a lot of you really like when I do vlog every day in Aprils, and because of the two overlapping shows that I was stage managing, I did not do that again this year. I was planning on doing it this year before I got asked to stage manage this musical, which I wasn't going to do. Um, but in many ways, I am very glad that I ended up doing it. So there's that. Things happen for reasons. Magic is coincidence, and coincidence is magic, as I have said. But yeah, so thank you for sticking with me through this April that has been so strange and, and so wonderful. And if you are still interested in signing up for my Saturn Returns course, please go ahead and do so. I will not be posting the first, like, welcome thing until next Saturday. So you do have until next Saturday to decide that. And if you have any other additional questions or concerns or just comments about it, if you want to message me privately somewhere on Facebook, like I said, is probably the best option. I would be willing to tell you a little bit more about it personally and maybe talk about what you're going through and what you might be able to look forward to getting out of it. I would like to have a few more people in the group to have a good discussion group size. And until then, I will see you sometime next month, and of course I'll see you back on the Pagan Perspective as well. Don't forget to be awesome, blessed be, and goodbye.